Many who have endured the COVID-19 pandemic understand this nuisance. This time, seals in Peru are being tested for bird flu or H5N1, which is spreading through the region and taking with it hundreds of sea lions. It initially started with pelicans last year. Now it's affecting these marine mammals. We have recorded since mid-January the unusual deaths of many sea lions. So far, we have about 716 dead in seven protected areas. Peru recorded its first cases of the highly infectious virus in November, and since then the government says it's killed 63,000 birds. But globally, since 2021, the World Organization for Animal Health says more than 200 million birds have been killed or culled to contain the virus. It's seeing the worst ever outbreak. Health experts say outbreaks usually begin in autumn and fade by spring, but reports are becoming more frequent. They blame rising cases on global temperatures, forcing birds to alter migration patterns, changes in farming methods and increased movement between countries of animals and humans. To keep it contained, they say surveillance and isolation are important, but more needs to be done to build up vaccine stocks. And although the risk to humans is low, it remains a public health concern. We know this bird flu virus is highly pathogenic on birds, but it can also infect mammals. If I'm not wrong, there was a case in Ecuador where a child got infected. And now, sea lions are getting infected. It's likely more people will. More cases are popping up across South America. For now in Peru, sea lions are being carefully buried to contain the spread. Laura Khan, Al Jazeera.